Deputy Coach. I thought we um, we lost by 34 points the other night, and there's not a lot you can do to dispel that. And I thought our team stayed together. Javion and um, Marquise came to me and just said, like, this is what we're going to do the next two days. We're going to work hard. We're going to see how we're going to win. We're going to have a hard practice. But we're also going to go to American Sniper in the Niagara Falls, and we're going to go to Applebee's. They pick, they pick that. You got the, the players today deserve to have an input on a trip. I'm really excited about Buffalo. I've always liked the Buffalo trip. Today I was doing my analysis of where I thought the stadium should go. I think the first one is where it should go. That's really right next to this, not first uh-huh. Niagara. Because I walked around, I did my little morning walk, and I'm like, this would be like Baltimore when they added the Ravens stadium. See, it's more than basketball, and we talked about that at brunch. And that's just how it's going to be as long as we're here. And now we win on the road. So the bottom line is we were one and one. It doesn't matter that we lost by 34 points. I don't think we took it lightly, but we didn't veer off the path and say, let's have seven hours of meetings and 20-hour practice and all that. And we kind of stick to the game plan. And we know that we're missing Brett Bisping and and Amos Silas. And today we're missing Rob Poole. We still stuck to running the two-play, pressing, played a lot of zone, and scored 74 points, and I couldn't be prouder. And I'm not kidding. Marquise is big. That last free throw, especially after missing a few in a row, to make the other one that made it made us up four kind of put us in a little different different atmosphere and uh, we're good. A lot of a lot of different guys contributed and I'll take any questions. Jimmy Page, I must have inspired him when I told him Rick James was born in Buffalo. <laughs> the first real like guitarist, singer, rapper. No, he doesn't know who Rick James is, but I do. I'll take any questions. How big was it just having LeVon back there? Yeah, huge. I mean, he's inspirational. LeVon, despite the play at the end, he really knows what he's doing. Like, he's really good with the ball. He is good in buying the ball. He's left-handed. Um, you know, 10 and 6, 2 assists. But you have to cover LeVon. You have to cover LeVon, and he's really smart. Play- LeVon Long is just a warrior, you know. He, he, he Once again, he probably shouldn't have played today. He wanted to play Friday. I said, see if you can go tomorrow. And he practiced for about half of it. I was outside um, with Bucky and came back, and he said, I'm ready to go. I'm good. And I appreciate that from LeVon. Jimmy, when you guys, like, late in the game, there's, uh, there were moments where you're, you're in your huddle. It's, there are tense moments late in the game, as you know. But these guys are coming out of there laughing. What in God's name are you saying? <laughs> uh, well. That you can repeat. Well, we, well, we rebound and receive. I said, rebound and receive. Rebound and receive. And it sort of just turned into, like, a chant. Like, we were, like, rebound and receive. Rebound. And they started, they're good with me. They, right? Yeah. They started, like, making it like a song. Because they're like, you're going to just keep saying it. We might as well sing along. Because it's like I try to teach them all you need is love. I'm working on that one. But they didn't get that one because they don't know who the Beatles are. But that was like a road game that didn't work. But today, that and the ref was laughing. But, you know, I, really, I keep it light. Like, one out of two is good. Marquise is mad. I'm like, are you crazy? You just made like, well, now we're up four. And you got to keep it like perspective, right? Yeah. You talked about perspective yesterday. I mean, how much, you know, you... You know, you get buried by 34. You come in and win today. I told him we didn't win. I was going to kill him because then you wouldn't write a story on that. <laughs> that was going anyway. But, uh, you know, in terms of perspective, I mean, you know, we talked yesterday. It's a little bit more than, than basketball itself. That is- I-, I believe that now that I've been in the MAC so long. Look, most of the kids in the MAC. I mean, you know how many great players have played in this gym They on their team? And Chris has it going. These guys are really good. They're just young. But I've seen Sharon Fisher and Mendez and Cruz and... Most of them are done playing after a couple of years, so there's more to it than that. And we talked about that, you know. I mean, they won the league my first year here, and it was in Buffalo. We played in first Niagara. I guess guess back then it was HSBC Arena, but I've seen this league for 11 years, and we're always going to go to Niagara Falls. But in other words, I'm like some great players who played here. Besides, They don't know who Frank Lade and Yubi Brown is. They probably know Yubi Brown from announcing. But Cruz and Mendez and Sharon Fisher and Miles and... They've just had some Bilal Ben, and, and now these these young guys, I mean, Snowden's going to be one, and Blackman just continues to scorch us. So. But these, this is a great mid-major program, and I want them to learn that Canisius, when, that, like, they don't know who Canisius is until I tell them John Beeline coached here, because they all know who he is in Michigan. And then I tell them about how, you know, the guy that ran the Jazz was here. They, they don't get it all. I mean, they probably get tired of me, right? But, but I'm going to force, I want to make sure they learn it. Because I love the Buffalo trip, and, and he and I were talking about the Buffalo Braves being here. Because I always remember that. I remembered who John Y. Brown was and all these people. And I said, that's where we, right, we took a tour. After we saw you, we went down and saw the harbor. And I couldn't find the X. It was too crowded. But I said, they had an NBA franchise here. And you know who they are today? The L.A. Clippers. 
But that's pretty impressive. The L.A. Clippers were here for a long time. And they were like, okay, whatever. But at least they, like, try to listen. But, I mean, right. Bob McAdoo, whose son's a great player. Like, there's a lot of great players that have played here. And Buffalo's a cool town. And I'm, then I said this morning, see, the stadium's coming. Buffalo's on the rebound. We love Buffalo. You can ask the kids questions. Marquise, uh, in your opinion, what do you guys do much better today than on Friday? Uh, loved each other on the court. Um, and that's what I was saying throughout the whole huddle, or every huddle was coming out. Love each other on three was his huddle. It was. Love each other, not defense or anything? I'm, it leads to all of that, defense, offense, and a win. It's a career high for Javion today. Javion, <laughs> turning you into a player. 16, 5, and 3, doing it all. Like Bob McAdoo, we'll teach you to tell you who he is later. How much fun is this guy, seriously? Like. Is it a riot? Is it yeah. as much fun as it appears? You hear a lot of joking and stuff like that. But Except for those two hours. Like they don't like yeah, me for the two hours. Two hours is really hard to have fun. Play, yeah. but. Right. But, you know, it seems like there are times during the game he's ready to just scream the skin right off you, too. Yeah. And then, and then, and then again. sometimes where he's, um, like, comforting you and stuff like that. Like, I was mad he didn't lay it in. I said, just dunk it. The next time you got to dunk, right? Yeah. And we all cheered.